Look, he's awake. Thank goodness, are you feeling okay? Don't mind the mess he has hair. Oh, I need a haircut. Where's Al? Jesus Christ, I didn't know it was that bad. Humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. Sorry, Al. That's twice now you've been carved up. I'll fix you right away. How did yeah. you fix him like that? Edward, sir, that was some stir you caused. What happened to you in Lab 5? Nothing much. Nothing much? You and Al were seriously hurt. Come on, I've had a lot worse. I was just one baby step away from getting my hands on the truth, too. They don't want to talk about the homunculi or anything because literally... They just, I won't they botch it next time. Edward, sir. I apologize in advance oh, no. for this. <laughs> you nearly died and you put your brother at risk. You need to remember you're still a child. And you have to start trusting adults with a little bit more of the work. My conduct was improper for a lower officer, sir. Forgive me. Forgive me too, sir. No, you've got a point. I'm sorry. God. Edward is up in the ranks, to be honest. If, yep, like, he's gonna they're literally me. scared of being, it's like, one punished. Of his parts, all right. Oh, how could this happen? I've been praised as a young, gifted auto mail engineer. It's the worst mistake of my career. Is something the matter? No, nothing at all. I just, uh, I hit my thumb with a wrench. <laughs> Hello, Rockbell Auto Mail Prosthetic Limb Outfitters. Uh, Winry? <laughs> Ed, hi there. Uh, I've got some kind of problem. I can't move my arm anymore. Sounds right. Why? What do you mean? Uh, nothing at all. I just, I told you I made it lighter and it would be a little more fragile. That's why it makes sense. <laughs> You've done something reckless again, haven't you? She already you? knows. Anyway, I can't make it out to Risenpool right now, so I'm kind of a fix here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come to you! Just stay there and relax, and I'll jump on the train uh, today! You're being unusually kind today, Winry. Oh, don't be silly. You know I'm always kind, Ed. <laughs> right. See you here. Thanks. <sighs> make sure you do the maintenance right this time, kid. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> following orders. I don't know what's in there. The splatter pattern's bizarre. Mm, did you know a bunch of investigation now? Hey, Edward. I heard that you've been up and around today. Yeah, a little. How about you, Al? You holding up too? Sure. Uh, oh, I hate I depression, forgot. Al. I haven't had a chance to eat lunch today. Oh, well, I'll get you some food, sir. Yeah, uh, Lieutenant Ross, why don't you go with him? Understood, sir. Thanks. I'm real hungry. I've just been so busy. <laughs> About Lab 5. As far as the official military report goes, everything that happened there is considered collateral damage caused by Scar while he was pursuing you. But, needless to say, I'm not really convinced of that. We found a lot of corpses it. we suspect were chimeras, and a great deal of sophisticated equipment I can't help but think was working until yesterday. And surviving prisoners claim they were taken there by Brigadier General Gron, who we both know is in a grave with an exploded skull. Ed, what the hell happened? Ed? How should I know? I passed out. Don't give me that. Just tell me what you saw, will you? He can't trust anybody. Monkey right lie. Now. Oh, shit, Kidding. he actually did. Artificial people. That's right. <clears throat> Leave me. They weren't human at all. So they're connected with the Philosopher's Stone? I'll see. 
They were trying to convince me to create a stone for them to make them human. And worse, they wanted me to use those prisoners to pull it off. It's hard to believe. Tell him, Al. Isn't that right? Yes. A guardian whose soul was attached to armor. A psychopath named Envy. Tattoos of Ouroboros, the serpent that devours its own tail. And the arrays to make a philosopher's stone. Those are the things I saw in there, Hughes. This is turning into an awfully serious matter, and the whole thing is about a little red stone. <laughs> it's been serious for years now. Dr. Marco told me the stone was used as a weapon in the Eastern Rebellion. Anyway, these homunculi told me they were keeping me alive for their sakes. They were told to. Thanks for the information, Ed. I'll take it from here. No, no, no. no. Now get some rest. Why don't you and your brother just worry about yourselves for a while? We're getting close to it. Cushionless seats. Let's see. Ed said he'd have a sign for me or something. <laughs> Teacher! <gasps> My warmest welcome, Winry. Thank you for going to the trouble of this lengthy trip. <laughs> that works. <laughs> oh, I love Armstrong. Edward! You didn't tell me that you were in the hospital for this! Yeah, well, one thing led to another. <laughs> what, what was it? His face? Look, 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 look at Armstrong's face. Look at Armstrong's face. <laughs> that works. Look, 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 look. Edward, you didn't tell me that you were in the hospital for this. Yeah, well, one thing led to another. <laughs> it's nothing to laugh about. What's wrong? I didn't do the maintenance on your auto mail the way I should have. And now, this is my fault. No, don't say that. There's a lot of other things to blame, right, Al? Right. See there, and Al doesn't lie. Yeah, but... Your maintenance was perfect. It always has been. It's complicated machinery, and I'm slinging it all around. It was bound to jam up sometime. I mean, honestly, the timing was pretty good. If it had stopped earlier, I'd be a lot worse off. It broke because I was rough with it. Don't worry. Could he actually not have noticed that I forgot to use that screw? <laughs> You're right, Ed. You're too rough. A reckless <laughs> what klutz, the really. <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Colonel, sorry to interrupt, but there's a call from Colonel Mustang. Yo, Roy! Good timing! I've got great news! What, your soldiers have found Scar? No, you obsessed idiot. How would that be great news? Did you honestly forget? Tomorrow is Alicia's birthday! We're throwing her a party and everything! <laughs> Unless you want to become Charcoal Maze, you better tell me the news from Central. Don't worry. If anything important happens, I'll let you know. In the meantime, make sure you send my daughter a present. Bye now! But, sir, are you sure it's okay not to tell him anything about the boys? Yeah, I'm sure. Right now, it's better if he doesn't know anything. Right. Can't but enough of that. The phone you got those reports? They're probably recorded. Yeah! <laughs> Working nonstop without sleep, I've managed to finish them all! Great. Next set of Here's a list of what's next, doll. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. How you doing? Well, Ed, looks like you're done with your dinner. Uh-huh. Don't be a baby. It won't hurt much. You didn't drink you your didn't milk. didn't drink your milk. <laughs> Edward. You drink it. I hate milk. It's like drinking vomit. What are you talking about? Milk's good for you. Drink it. Forget it. I hate what I hate. It's not like I'm dying because I don't drink that crap. Jeez, then this is the reason you're always going to be the size of a bean. A bean. Yeah, a bean. <laughs> right, Al? Just do what she says, Ed. Drink the dumb milk. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Easy for you to say, Al. You're lucky you didn't have to drink anything to get that big. Shut up. It wasn't my choice to be this way. Right, Al. I'm sorry. Hey, what's wrong with you guys? Are you fighting, Al? I've never seen you like this. Did something happen? I hate this segment between these two right now. Why is that? I've known you my whole life and you don't tell me anything. I'm standing here worrying about you guys, yet you don't have the decency to tell me why you're fighting or how you got hurt or anything important. It's always secrets with you. I don't care anymore. Hi, it's nice to finally meet you, Winry. 
I'm Ed Nell's friend, the <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel, or Maze Hughes. Oh, hey. Oh, and lest I forget, this here is my beautiful daughter, Alicia. Isn't she a bundle of divine cuteness? Oh, You're dying to meet her, aren't you? Uh, yes, I guess. All right, then I'm going to let you. <laughs> what? Don't you worry about Winry. I'm going to look after her for a while. Bye now. Oh, my God. Sir, this is going to be great. You have no idea how lucky you are coming into town today. It's Alicia's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> I forgot, it's Ed's too. Ah, that's an excellent point. We'll have to get him a present too while we're out. So come on, you can tell me. I'm dying to know. What kind of gift are you getting for Alicia? Uh, <laughs> what? A teddy bear? One bigger than she is? Great, she'll absolutely love that! Hmm. <laughs> 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 Congratulations! It's getting so big. I'm telling you, apples always bake better with maple syrup. Oh, they do. You're lucky. My daughter's been a handful lately. It looks really soft, too. You should put him in an outfit. Hi, Alicia. You want to see what I got you? My favorite story when I was a kid. Oh, thank you. Your dad's friend, the bookworm. The bookworm? <laughs> Her voice is so different You're in the pretty. show. Hey there, Alicia. Can you tell me how old you are today? One, two, I'm four. Right. You're so adorable. Winry, know what? Hmm. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Know why? Daddy says when you tell someone congratulations, good things will happen to them. So I'm telling you. Thank oh, you, that's yeah. sweet. My, my. If I didn't know, I'd think the two of you were really sisters. Do you think so? I always wished I had a little sister like this. I'm just an only child, after all. You have brothers. Two great ones. Uh, no, I don't. Real brothers would tell me things and let me into their lives a little. But those two have always kept her. me at arm's length from anything that actually matters. Sorry, can't help that. Guys like them, they speak more with their actions than their words. They like people to be happy. They do dangerous work and they don't want to burden anyone else with yeah. their problems. Or make them worry about them. So they keep quiet. But despite all that, when the pressure valve breaks and they have to talk, you're the one they'll go to. Yeah. Right? You're the one they can count on when they need to. And that in itself says a lot. But for brothers to count on their older sister, she's going to have to be there and be strong. That makes they sense. They just don't want her to worry and be upset. There you go. They go Thanks through for so much. It's Edward's birthday cake fresh from the oven. I hope he oh. likes it. Go on. Go see him. Here. Oh. Mr. Hughes, don't you have a present for Ed, too? What's the point? There's not a gift I could give him that wouldn't dull in comparison to your smiling face. Aww. God damn you, Hughes. Congratulations, 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 Ed. <laughs> know why? Because the more people tell you congratulations on your birthday, the more good things will happen to you. <laughs> oh. Here, it's from Gracia. Okay, thank you. It's a cake, and I copied the recipe from her. When you get your body back and can eat, Al, I'll make one for you too, okay? Whatever. Oh, yeah, the three of us always used to eat cake together on our birthdays, didn't we? So yeah, remember when Dan ate Al's cake? We knew because of the paw prints made with the frosting. Al <laughs> cried. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That happened to me? Yeah, you and the dog were both pretty little then. Why, you don't remember it? No. Something the matter, Al? I'll be outside on the roof until you're done repairing it. Are you sure you'll be okay out here? I mean, by yourself? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll come back to move you later. Thanks. Ed, something happened between you and Al, didn't it? Never mind. I... I did something awful to him, Winry. I had what? the chance to do it, to change him back to normal, and I hesitated. And how come? Because in order for it to work, I would have had to sacrifice some other people. It all would have been for Al. Compared to him, those other people shouldn't have meant anything to me. But I... I just couldn't do it. Not with him watching me, my conscience... Sorry, I got a little busy. <laughs> I had to make a phone call, got a phone call. <laughs> okay. It's got in the way. It's a good thing it did, after all. Al is a selfless person. He wouldn't have been happy in that body. 
Even Very if true. it's what he wants most, how could he take that burden, seeing the ones who died every time he looked at his skin? Yeah. I promised. Think about it. Maybe there's another reason. Maybe he's upset because he saw the brother he idolizes even consider taking someone else's life. Maybe. But no, that's not the reason. How do you know Bar you yep. I was going to say, Barry the Chopper so got to him. Tailored your memories and personality to suit him best. I can implant those that are mine. Was I ever really human at all? All done. Come on now, let's go have you take care of Al. Yeah, but I have no idea what to say to him. Just say sorry, you goof. A simple apology, it isn't hard to do. You rant for hours and you can't say two words? Yeah, let's go. Listen. I'm sorry, and I'm gonna fix you right now. I brought these parts from Rizimbul. They should be enough. Trust me, I'm not gonna give up on this yet, Al. We're gonna do this, but we'll do it the right way. And we'll be normal again, I'm sure. Maybe you can go back to normal, brother, and I hope you do. But I'm not sure I ever can. Uh, what are you talking about? Of course you can, Al. Here goes. I don't like this Al. I always hate this Al. Ugh. That's so cool. Literally just a bunch of scrap of metals and he was able to fix them. How's that? That's how you made me this way when you attached my soul to this armor in the first place, isn't it? That's right. Along with my memories. After all, memories are just information you can reference, like a cabinet of files. As skilled an alchemist as you are, you could have created any memories you wanted me to have. Fake memories? Don't tell me that's what you're upset about. Why shouldn't it be? A while back in Risenbull, there's something you wanted to tell me, but you couldn't. You said you were afraid of how I'd react. You remember that, don't you? I can't remember parts of my past because they never happened. My memories and my soul are fake. Something you created. Isn't that what you wanted to say? No, what Ed wanted to tell you was that- Stop lying to me! I know what the truth is. The person named Alphonse Elric never existed at all. That makes no sense! You and Ed have always been together. I knew you when you were a boy. My grandma did too! We're friends, Al! You can trust me! Can I? Really? How can I believe anyone when there's no way to prove it? When I'm just a hollow shell, all three of you could be in on it together! So, you've been sitting on those thoughts all this time. Is there anything else you're hiding that you want to say? What about you, my so-called brother? Answer my question. Why won't you say anything? Unless it's true! <laughs> Let go of me. What's the point of living this lie? You idiot! Let go of me! Let go! Ow! What a dumbass. Stop. I won't stay here! Edward, stay back. Hold on. Just stay back! Keep away from me! Please, Al. Al! Wait! Ed, no! Edward, what the fuck are you thinking jumping from up there? Al! Al! And here comes the tears. <laughs> Alphonse is such an idiot with this this part. I literally, this is the Alphonse I can't stand. It's literally this part. I get, you know, his, he's been fucked with because, you know, he met people who are just like him, but yet kind of confused his mind and manipulated his mind as well to thinking that he's not who he is and that he's just a bunch of memories stuck inside of a body and he never existed, but it just 
it irritates the shit out of me because I can't stand this out so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Also, comment down below what you guys want me to react to next, and I'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing by calling 1-800-click-the-fucking-subscribe button. That's 1-800-click-the-fucking-subscribe button.